traffic is about uh, 16 hours into the day. It's uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. We're on around the road once again. It's going to be our usual thing. So you're getting a vlog every day, just uh, some of it uh, is split into two, two different vlogs. So between the two, uh, you're getting a vlog every single day. Uh, it's just the editing and uploading that takes a little bit of time. Uh, it depends on how you sort of arrange things that sort of uh, causes the issue. And of course, then there's also uh, space on the editing desk. When you run out of space on the editing desk, there, it takes a bit of time to sort of clean everything up. behind in your editing in your actual so the, the what we call the uploads the uploads will uh, get behind uh, anyways I was talking to one of my students and there seems to be a bit of confusion around the whole term gnosis and it is confusion because it's used for a lot of different things gnosis is Greek is simply the Greek word for knowledge and so it really depends on, it, it requires something known as a contextual definition. And this is what I realized that, that, that Lionel doesn't do. He doesn't go into enough of an explanation. He does it on a private, he says he does it on the private thing, but I don't know because I'm not going to pay for it. You're going to get all this stuff here for free. And I don't charge anything, so uh, I think that would be one of the benefits. Uh... A contextual definition is how the word is used in the context in which it's used. And I think, but this is, this is this is in many ways what diction is. The dictionary tells you the context, what the word means within the context. That's why you wonder why the words sometimes have so many different definitions. And that's because you talk the dictionary gives you the full definition, including all the various different contexts. contexts in which can, it can exist. And so you have a number of examples in which the word can be used, uh, and that's your contextual definition. The thing is, there are other... The dictionary, the dictionary isn't definitive. The dictionary gives you some uh, of the uh, possible uses for the word. Like, uh, they have the term uh, affectation, right? Affect is the effect that someone's personality has on you. Well, affectation should be there as well, but it's not they have it defined as simply as an insult. Say a person is a real humanitarian, like a liberal is a li real humanitarian. Right? That libertarian aspect, the, the, the philanthropic aspect of the person's personality is what was defined earlier as pretense. It's not real, it's fake. So what happens is you look at the Democrats and say, well, the affectation of the Democrats, or of a Democrat, is, philanth is, philanthropic, is uh, philanthropic. Well, no, it's not, because they're, you, you're meaning the actual opposite. If you, you're actually tossing it out as an insult. It's a derogatory. So affectation becomes a derogatory, even though it's the, it's the, end, the ending effect of the person's personality. So this is this is an, a person. Uh, the personality is an intangible. So rather than using the term effect, which is which is a tangible object, right? You know, like the baseball hit me. Right? What effect did the what effect did the baseball have when it hit you? Well, that's that's the effect. The affect is someone threw an insult at me, or they threw shade my way. That's the affectation. It's, it's, it's the, it's the non-physical, it's the intangible effect of an object that's intangible itself has on you. So it, 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 it's a, an emotional uh, or a psychological uh, uh, term. I the gnosis has the same thing, but again, but again, you're dealing with a lot of people with a lot of different pretense who want to be gurus. 
So you'll have people up there sitting there, they'll make pronouncements, statements, that are just very simply not true, it's their own opinion, but they carry it, they carry it through in such a manner that everyone believes in it, and they have enough people around them who do believe. And also, there are people around them who don't believe, but have been given a position of power, a position of note, actually, not necessarily power. The power of a position comes from the note of the position. The note is noticeable, uh, notability. Uh, you'll have to look that one up. A notable person is a person who is significant enough to be noted, to be noticed. So they, just, they talk about notability. Right? Notoriety is the opposite of that. It is the uh, is the opposite effect. It is notoriety is the uh, is the bad bad person, right? You have a notorious robber. Right? This person is a bad robber, and he's been no, he's known for this. He's known for his bad robbery. He's known for his viciousness. Right? The notable pirate. This comes from the word, it still comes from, from the word notable. A person of note. And you'll see that in the dictionary, if you look it up, it's it, it, it best looked at it, 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 you can find one. Look at uh, dictionaries and uh, go get them. It, 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 they'll be probably be PDF if they're online, but you can get them at old bookstores. Dictionaries prior to 1970, 1970 and earlier. Those, that's, it was around 1990 that the words started changing. And a lot of the so-called modernism that came in really wasn't really modern. What it did is it simply dumped down the language and a large chunk of a large chunk of the original definition was simply done away with. And they did done away with with a simple argument. Well, they're archaic. Well, the thing is, they were not really archaic. They just weren't really, really being used properly. And so what happens is that the, you know, you have a lot of you see this fakery going on uh, since 1990. So your references, the things that you're going to look at, have to be prior to 1990. 1990 is your deadline. You get to realize that things are being modified. Uh, 1990 is not. Uh, and a lot of it had to do with computers. Computers weren't sufficient enough uh, prior to 1990 in terms of the digital information uh, that you could easily change things. So it'd be very difficult to go in and change a text or, 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 or anything like that because everything was more or less a hard copy. So this would be the end result, is that you'd have to have uh, you'd have to change all the let's say the dictionaries were all in print. You'd have to go and find every copy of the of, of, of the dictionary that was out there and begin to modify. Same thing with any other text, is that the modification of the text uh, really depended on how many copies you get you get a hold of. And if there's a copy out there that you sort of missed and didn't realize was out there, then well, that was it. The information got out. And this is sort of the same thing. This is what the dark web is. The dark web is information that is hidden. It's out there. And uh, it leaks out to the general public in a variety of different manners. These are what we would call your information pirates. Uh, Julian Assange was an information pirate, but not a very good one because he got caught. A good information pirate, and this is part of the game of QLARP, which I'm moving, which I'm moving to, ending my, uh, my run on Laura's Mobile, probably within a while, a week or so. Uh, QLARP is this. It, it is the information pirate, part of it, part of it, being an information pirate, getting information out that is not supposed to be out, getting it out to the public. And you have to, the, the whole challenge is to get through the censorship that's out there. Because there always has been censorship out there. It's never, never been really an open and free world. There's always been, to some degree or another, censorship. And like, once again, Lionel LeBron does not explain this. Mm -hmm. 
everything is dire, everything is right now. And the thing is, again, why is he so, so concerned about Afghanistan? Because he, even himself, he himself doesn't understand how it's Because it's, it's the same thing as Libya. He didn't understand it's Libya. Even though he mentioned it, he just doesn't remember that in Libya, what, what Obama was doing was creating ISIS and then arming them. This is why you had all these, you know, the bombing of the embassy, you had the riots and so on and so forth. This is how they armed these different, tele- these different uh, ISIS groups. more of the descriptions, the, the detail that Lionel was on the hill. Anyone who desires a position will end up doing this. And so, a conspiracy doesn't have to be coordinated. It just has to be the people who... together a group coalition and this is how this ends up working out. Now that doesn't necessarily mean everything everything's gonna go your own way. Matter of fact it's quite the opposite. So more often than not the friends that you make along the way to your end goal of mutual interest. At some point in time along the way, will end up betraying you for their own particular interest. Uh, the, 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 the mutual interest is not the entire interest alone. It's simply the fact that uh, you can somewhat agree when you have a sort of a similar view. And again, similar does not necessarily mean exact. is hey I did the conspiratorium doesn't necessarily have to be people all on the same page there's the, the, the conspiratorium is in many cases a loose conglomeration of people and interests. And this is what causes the problem because it looks like, the, you know, you see this individual aspect of things. He always talks about starlings and, and murmurations. He loves these words. But the problem is, is that if you look at birds outside the flock, 
in terms of their behavior. They all have individual behaviors and they flock. They only work together when they're in that flock, in the condition. So it's not that the, these starlings, these murmurations, are there the entire time. It's just part of the behavior. And this time that it was up north, uh, so the, the sheep behaved in a different manner. They were pretty much herd animals. Where the sheep, uh, two years ago, uh, were pretty individualistic. The groupings were loose. of this murmuration, this, the flock and so on and so forth, is not entirely one that is set in stone. And this is why MK Ultra, in terms of the programming, more often than not breaks down. We saw this in pretty script, we're talking about the breakdown of the MP Ultra program, that it doesn't last. And, then, and this is kind of what we see here, is the whole thing with COVID is that it's here again and again and again. And it's not the same people standing up and being afraid and saying, oh, we need to protect ourselves. It's different groups of people. That's because one group has disappeared and one group has sort of acclimated to everything. It's become nothing shocking anymore. And uh, other groups will take up the uh, bullhorn and see it their chance to sort of toot their own horn, if you will, and they become uh, the heroes, they become the stars, the, the uh, celebrity for a day. But after a while, and this is the hard part, when things get back to normal, when, they, when, they, when things are sort of in a... Uh, Normal there really, really isn't a fundamental direction. So what do you say next? How do you continue on your discussions? And this is sort of the same thing here is the final went from the main focus and now he is a comparison to a lot of different things. Because Lionel is again he's not one thing, he's a variety of things. So you get to use him as a standard for a variety of things.
lens on how you see things. It's your perspective. And this is why as an observer you try to obtain as many perspectives as you possibly can to move yourself forward. So it's not simply your perspective, it's other perspectives as well. Are really knocking. Knock the camera out of the place, but it takes a while to sort of fix it up again. So the question is now, and this is what I was sort of thinking about over dinner, is uh, ending, finally ending. Lord's Mobile, because that's been in the mind lately, and moving further into QLAR. Take my gaming out of simulation mode and bring it into reality. Same sort of technique, same sort of same focus, same level of study, but now instead of being just simply a game, we play it as a game, but there's a lot more reality behind it. <laughs> 